Hi, Amy. Have you ever heard the term the PC bubble? Of course I have. In what context? PC bubble is basically when students are just exposed to other students in a smaller way and they think that the world just revolves around them and how everyone is not different from them, everyone is so similar. Um, the PC bubble could be like you think that there is no poverty or crime in other areas and you think that everything is just, everyone is so like, like smaller and everything like that. Okay, now last question. What is your perception of PC students and their relationship to the neighboring community? I think it has improved over time. Um, I know that there is some crime, so students might not want to give back. But throughout the, the years, whether you are on a like Congress or BOP, they have had an increasing relationship with the community in terms of events, Pumpkin Fest. Um, they do want to, a lot of people do do charity events, and do raise money for different um, charities like the Boys and Girls Club. All right. Hi, Amanda. Hi, how's it going? Good. Have you ever heard the term the PC bubble? I have. In what context? Oh, God, everywhere. I think it's a very uh, often used colloquium here, uh, colloquial here. I, um, people joke about it all the time. It's usually kind of used as, a, like, oh, I can't believe I'm stuck in the PC bubble today. Or, yeah. like, I saw, I saw someone of a different race. Oh, my God, PC bubble. Like, <laughs> like how, so it's, it's usually thrown as a joke, but I think it's, it's not really a joking matter. Yeah, okay. Now, what's your perception of PC students' relationship with the neighboring community? Uh, it's definitely a very difficult one. Um, definitely there is a type of physical relationship because there are students that actually live in the community. They actually live um, on the same streets as the real community here. That being said, um, I still believe that there is a bubble that exists um, because the, they are the student houses. And they I don't think there's a ton of regard for the community at large mm -hmm. um, within those houses, which, I mean, hey, you're a college student. You want to throw a party. That's fine. That's understandable. That being said, the culture of the school is like, let's throw a party all the time. And I don't really think there's too much thought for anyone else's neighbors or any, or any children in the area, any elderly people in the area. I don't really see that as something that is the first thing that comes to a lot of PC students' minds. Have you ever heard the term the PC bubble? Yes, I have. In what context? Um, in the sense that Providence has so many about what goes on on campus, mm -hmm. not so much what goes on off campus. All right, perfect. Now, what is your perception of PC students and their relationship to the neighboring community? Um, I feel like... PC students really don't know what's going on outside of the community unless they're doing some like some sort of program or like some sort of like club that has like an activity that's going on off campus. Besides that, like not. Have you ever heard the term the PC bubble? Yes. In what context? Um, just talking about how like, we're all kind of just in this big bubble and that kind of don't really know what's going on outside the bubble. And actually, my professor brought that up that. Um, that we're all too nice to each other and that we all just kind of root each other on and in the real world that we're not going to, there's not going to be this bubble. Yeah, probably true. Yeah. Um, last question, and what is your current perception of PC students' relationship with the neighboring community? Um, well, it kind of has to do with how the neighboring community kind of, not like deals with us, but like, I don't know, it's just we don't really have a very good sense of what's kind of going on outside and that we kind of see it as just ghetto because we're not really used to living next yeah. to the project. So it's... Hi, Amy. Have you ever heard of the term the PC bubble? Um, not in that context, but I've heard. I think I might know what you're talking about. Okay, in what context have you heard it? You know, just kind of like the bubble that PC students live in that they aren't really aware of, like the outside world around yeah. outside the college campus. Okay, great. Now, what is your perception of PC students and their relationship to the neighboring community? Um, honestly, I, th I mean, I think, you know, the college is really based on a lot of, like, charity and, like, doing a lot of, you know, work out with the community. But I think it kind of falls short of having a positive relationship. I think it really is just primarily about, you know, wanting to do good. And so we go right outside the college to, you know, launch our community service. But I don't know... You know, we have good intentions, but I don't think the relationship really is that good. Okay. Have you ever heard the term the PC bubble? I don't think so. Okay. Well, then we'll skip to our last question. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, what is your perceive? what's your perception of the student's relationship with the neighboring community? 
That's a good question. I because my understanding is that one side of the neighborhood is mostly PC faculty, mm-hmm. and so I would assume that the relationship has to be sort of distant because it's faculty. But I don't know really what uh, what that relationship is. And then the other side is mostly PC students, is what I understand. So I don't. I would assume that that relationship is good, and there's probably some parties, and I never get invited to those or anything <laughs> like that. Um, so that would be, like, just the surrounding the school, that would be my perception. What about, like, residents of Providence? Residents of Providence, I, I think um, there would be, um, I, th- I would think there would be a sort of a lack of interaction. I mean, I see, so what I see is I get on the bus in North Providence, and I take the bus down, and no one that I know of that is a student at PC is on that bus. But when I get on the bus at PC and go downtown, then all the students are on there. And it's a much different group of people. And there's no interaction between those people, the PC students, and any other anybody else that gets on the bus. And so between PC and the mall, which is where most of the students get off, there's like two different groups. There's one group of PC students that usually sits way in the back and they're chatting with each other and they're very happy. And then there's another group of Providence residents who either don't talk to each other or they might talk to each other, but there's no interaction between those two groups. So sociologically, that's what I would see. All right. Have you ever heard the term the PC bubble? No. Okay. Then what is your perceived relationship between the students and the neighboring community? Very good. Yeah? Yeah. Generally good, not bad? Not bad at all. Okay. No problem. All right. All right. Have you ever heard of the term the PC bubble? I have not. Okay, well then we'll skip to our last question. Um, what do you think the current relationship is between PC students and the neighboring community? Um, I think they do contribute a lot. A lot of them do work in some of our local you know, delis and a lot of our stores around here. Um, do contribute to the traffic a lot in the area to get in and out. I know it takes me quite a while if I'm walking across the streets. Um, well, other than that, I think it's a, it's a good relationship. They, the neighborhoods keep, uh, stay up kept with all the nice houses that get redone for them to live here. So I think it's a good relationship. <laughs> I don't like cameras. Okay, have you ever heard of the term the PC bubble? No, I haven't. Okay, then what is your uh, current perception of PC students' relationship with the neighboring community? Y'all have a lot of parties, y'all get wasted, and there's a lot of red cups everywhere. Okay. Go right up the street on Chad Brown Street, so I see it all the time. All right, so would you say generally not good a relationship, or? It's okay. Yeah. I wouldn't say that y'all do anything wrong, but... That's what I see. I just see a lot of parties. Have you ever heard the term the PC bubble? PC bubble? Um, maybe. It might be a campus, something with the campus. Yeah, in that context, describing the campus? Yes. Okay. And then what is your perception of PC students and their relationship to the neighboring community? Uh, as of the last 15, 20 years, good. Good. They've been helping uh, clean... The streets, the neighborhood, cleaning up after themselves, uh, the property, they've been more respectful. Okay, so you think it's gotten better as of recent? Absolutely. Okay. okay. So what would you say that PC students bring to the area? I would say they uh, give an a economical boost in a, in a good area size. You know, we've got 3,000 PC kids. They eat, they, you know, they drink, they go here, shop, this, that's for the, all the local neighborhood. You know, being a college city and state, they, they give an economical boost, and that's very much needed, especially at these times. One up for the kids. 